Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Olsäng in uh, uh, the eastern coast of Blekinge, which is situated in the, southern, the very southern eastern part of Sweden. So the east coast of that. Uh, I've been I've been interested in this region for a, a number of years now, but I've actually never actually took the time to investigate it more. But now here I am, just uh, an afternoon hike or call it whatever. Uh, Three reasons. I think there's three reasons why why I've been interested in this area. Number one, the oaks is said to be particularly beautiful here. The oak trees, such as these ones, okay, stepping out into the wind. Yeah, oak, oak. There's um, uh, they're very typical for this region and. The, <laughs> Although they're not very common, since all the oaks in back in the days were used to build uh, ships. So all the oaks were, were the king's property uh, and went straight for the, for the navy. Uh, but for, for whatever reason, these oaks were to be remained. So that's why it's this famous oak place. Uh, that was the, the biggest reason. The second reason uh, I think it's the coastline. I find it interesting because you can see out there is the Baltic Sea. There is no islands, nothing in between the the rather big Baltic Sea and, and this coastline. And I find it so peculiar in some sense that the coastline can be so can be so unprotected. It's no massive rocks. There's not nothing between the the force of the waves and the the erosion of the of the land. So there's there's just this subtle transition to the ocean, uh, which it's actually I think is is not that rare. But I find it interesting still. Uh, it's not that strange if you think about the wind directions, dominant wind directions, but but still I find it nice. Uh, I said three reasons, and I've been to two of them. Uh, I. <laughs> I'll see if I can figure out a third one while I'm starting to investigate this area even more. But I would think I would say the the uh, the number one is the the oaks and two is the coastline. So we'll see if we can have these two uh, to combine them in an image. I would be thrilled if I could do that. And during that time, we'll perhaps find a third reason why I'm here. Otherwise, we'll just have to skip that one. Okay, that's. Let's explore. So I guess that is where the where they shoot from. I don't know if you hear this, but I, I think just the alarm went off. I just remember the third uh, reason for being here uh, and it's actually uh, a grey seal colony, a tiny one on these islands, they're supposed to be its protected area for seal uh, I can't see any now with my bare eye uh, but I remember the rumor says that they should still be here I don't know if I'm out of season or if I'm just need blind binoculars the hunt goes on okay that did not necessarily take long I think I I think I find a good candidate check it out check that tree out I hope the wind doesn't blow this the feeling of this tree the sheer size of it Wow! I'm gonna take a stroll around this, around this one. So I've been walking around the tree now for a while. It's, it's that tree again. And as always, I find it a bit. Uh, I find it hard. I find it really hard to find it uh, to get it to work. A good composition for all of it to, to work together. I would like to have a leading line. That's why I'm standing here right now. So I have a leading line. With the with the ocean and such into the tree, but then again it falls. 
I don't know how much you can see, but it's extremely wide angle GoPro footage, but it kind of blends together too much. I will just walk around, take some photos, see what happens. Uh, so I'll bring all the photos up, you'll see in a sec, in a sequential order, how I work myself around this tree, trying to get those clouds in the frame as well. You'll see I'll probably change lenses back and forth. So you'll see a bunch of photos right now showing the tree from different angles. And we'll see how the, all these clouds will be moving away as well. So I think I found a frame where I could include the beautiful oak situated right there. And uh, the ocean. Uh, and actually being the last snap that I showed you. Now it's approximately four hours to sunset. I have no idea if I'll be here this that long. But right now I'm going to take myself a sandwich and sleep, I think. Just because I can. <laughs> so it's now, say, two and a half hours to two hours, two and a half hours, sorry, to sunset. And looking at those clouds, I realized there will be no massive sunset colors so we'll see what we can do about this maybe I'll wait for that cloud to come a bit closer to the tree and then take my photo and then we'll leave it be I think that is the plan so the final image is is getting close I'll say the sun is about falling to even more uh, clouds so I'll be uh, taking the chance as it gets to me the final setup by the ocean the leading line into the tree and then trying to get that cloud into the frame as well so I'll be having that on one side and the cloud to be balancing out the frame on the other side uh, I would love to have it bit tiny bit more into the frame so I'll be waiting here for 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 some time to try to get that into place I am using a two-stop soft grad ND and inside of that is a neutral density three-stop to get smoothen out the the ocean uh, right now it's not as much uh, the shutter speed isn't long enough for what I'm hoping for. I would like to have it a bit more speed than I'm getting. So we'll see what's what will happen. But this is my final shot. I'll be just gonna wait this out. No cows around. Just a car driving around the cows. Yeah, that seems strange. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the final setup. If I can't wait longer, then I have to be putting on an extra ND filter just to, to smooth things out. But yeah, enjoy the shot and uh, thanks for watching.